Hello everyone. Today I'm presenting our work named A Framework for Unexpectedness Evaluation in Recommendation. I will be your host, Tiago Silveira, from Tsinghua University, China. The authors of this research are me, Tiago, Professors Leonardo Rocha and Fernando Mourão from Federal University of São João del Rey and Marcos Gonçalves from Federal University of Minas Gerais in Brazil. So, let's get started. So this is the summary of our presentation. Firstly, we briefly introduced about recommended systems and elaborated discussion about evaluations in recommendations. Then we focus on the concept of unexpectedness in recommendation. We present our objectives and our proposal, and we describe our framework. Next, uh, we present a case study using the described framework. First of all, what are recommended systems? Recommended systems are tools that help users in selecting what they want to consume next based on their tastes and interests. These systems use the user's consumption information in order to issue recommendations for them. It focuses uh, mainly on the application of a utility function for each item and users and later rank the most useful items for the users. Uh, recommended systems are very important nowadays due to uh, a known problem called the paradox of choice. Many online services and e-commerces have a vast catalog of items for the users to consume. Even though it increases the diversity for the users, having a large catalog of items to choose from makes the users undecided in what to consume next. The more items, the more undecided the user gets. Therefore, recommended systems can help the users in selecting what to consume based on their profile uh, of consumption. There are many online services nowadays that use recommended systems. Uh, E-commerces are famous for suggesting items for the users such as Amazon. Other services also use the same technologies such as Netflix, MovieLens, YouTube, etc. In order to provide useful recommendations for the users, predictions uh, issued by a recommended system need to be evaluated. Uh, however, evaluation is still an open challenge in recommended systems. Traditionally, machine learning classification metrics have been used for uh, evaluating the predictions, such as accuracy, mean accuracy error, precision, recall. These metrics, however, have been criticized for not actually measuring what the user needs in recommendation. And also, they are known for training recommenders to solidly issue predictions related to what the user usually consume. Alternatively, recent works have been exploring other concepts rather than simply using uh, accuracy-based metrics. For instance, some other uh, concepts have been explored as well, such as novelty, diversity, serendipity, coverage, and unexpectedness. Briefly, novelty involves introducing novel items in the predictions that the user did not know about it yet. Uh, diversity relates to increase the variety of items in the recommendation list, recommending not solely more of the same. And serendipity means of providing good surprises or pleasant findings to the users. There are other concepts as well, such as coverage and confidence, but these are not largely expo explored. Therefore, uh, we focus more on the concept of unexpectedness in this research. Unexpectedness has received attention recently and has been mainly defined as surprised in recommendation. Unexpectedness predictions involve recommending items that the user does not expect to be uh, recommended of. In other words, surprising the users by overcoming their consumption and recommendation expectations. The importance of unexpectedness lies in avoiding boring predictions and, after all, users could be interested in recommendations that are not more of the same. As an example, in a online movie streaming system, if the user watched, let's say, three movies of Harry Potter, recommending another Harry Potter movie is unnecessary because the user already knows Harry Potter. But a recommendation is still related to the topic, for example, Merlin the Wizard could be unexpectedness to the user and it worth to be explored of. Therefore, the objective of this work is to explore evaluations of unexpectedness in recommendation. We focus on evaluation by reviewing the main metrics of unexpectedness assessments in recommendation that, are cu that currently exist in, this, in the literature. 
and we organize the implementation of the metrics and we want to answer the basic question are the existing metrics in the literature effectively evaluating the same concept of unexpectedness? To fulfill this objective, we propose a framework for unexpectedness evaluation and recommendation. Uh, with our framework, we uh, could be able to evaluate, characterize, compare, and combine the metrics in recommendations. We named these two, these two uh, unusual unexpectedness unified analysis, which we also create a graphical interface for it. Unusual can be illustrated in a framework as this one in the picture. As inputs, the framework requires the recommendation list, the history of consumption, and any other information required by the unexpectedness metrics we want to evaluate. And the framework has three main modules, the evaluation, characterization, and combination modules. The unexpectedness metrics are firstly executed given the recommendation list and the history of consumption. And then next, the computed unexpectedness scores are used as inputs in the characterization and combination modules. As outputs, the framework provides a series of statistical analysis and visualizations about the unexpectedness scores of, and the recommendation lists. So first, let's talk about the evaluation module. As mentioned, uh, the unexpectedness metrics are executed deriving scores for each user and for each recommendation list. For this framework, we implemented five unexpectedness metrics we could find in the literature. Three metrics requires a primitive prediction method, which is a predictor that issues expected recommendation. These three metrics are proposed by three different researchers, authored by Ge et al., Adam Apollos et al., and Murakami et al., respectively. The other two metrics are not based on a, a primitive predictor, they are based on distinct principles. These two metrics were proposed by Jung et al. and Akiyama et al., respectively. In this sense, the inputs for this module are the recommendation lists, primitive predictors, and any other necessary information that the metrics may have, such as the history of consumption for the users. So now, let's talk about the characterization module. The characterization module receives the unexpectedness scores calculated by the previously uh, mentioned metrics for each user in the evaluated set of recommendation lists. Uh, the idea of this module is to perform a set of visualization and statistical analysis on the metrics. The module has two types of analysis, the behavior and similar, uh, similarity analysis. In the behavior analysis, the framework performs statistical summarizations uh, from the unexpectedness scores. We calculate the mean, median, standard deviation, and also plot a rank curve uh, of the unexpectedness scores. Moreover, we also perform a sensitivity analysis comparing the normalized scores with popularity, history size of consumption of the users, and mean rate of the users uh, reviewing. In the similarity analysis, the framework compares the unexpectedness scores generated by different unexpectedness metrics with each other. For uh, these, we use Candletall, Pearson, and Spearman rank correlations. Therefore, we calculate the correlation between the metrics in order to calculate the similarity. So now, lastly, in the combination module, we employ the matrix factorization techniques for combining different unexpectedness scores for the recommendation list of each user. The main result is a unified metric for evaluating unexpectedness. For this, we implemented like three modules, PCA, SVD, and kernel PCA. We use the first principal component of PCA and KPCA to reconstruct the matrix and make a linear combination of the unexpectedness uh, scores for each metric resulting in a unified metric. Uh, the same can be done with uh, SVD. Then, for facilitating the use of our framework, we implemented a tool called Unusual, Unexpectedness Unified Analysis, where we developed and organized the five metrics for unexpectedness, and the user can select what sort of statistical summarization and combination they desire to perform. The tool is available as an open source uh, code on GitHub in the provided link.
Well, then, for the sake of practical use of our framework, we implemented a case study of the use of unexpectedness metrics. In our case study, we want to analyze our framework's applicability in real scenarios. Therefore, we created this case study. We applied our framework in the MovieLens dataset with 10 million reviews, 72,000 users, and 10,000 items. For this case study, we evaluated the unexpectedness of two recommenders, user KNN and matrix factorization, with regard to the five unexpectedness metrics previously mentioned. For user KNN and matrix factorization, we used the MyMedia Lite implementations. For the unexpectedness metrics that require a primitive prediction method, we used a non-personalized recommender that issues the top, the most 100 popular items. Therefore, we show the outputs of the characterization and combination modules. We rank the recommendation list from the most unexpected to the least unexpected, according to each metric. For the sake of comparison, we normalize the results. As we can see, regardless of the recommender used, the metrics have different behaviors. Metric 1 and 2, for instance, are proposed by Ge and Adamopoulos, respectively have the same behavior because they are similar to each other, their implementations are similar to each other. Uh, the remaining metrics evaluate unexpectedness different as it's, it clearly sees. Both recommenders show different behaviors for the unexpectedness scores. Therefore, this clearly shows that the metrics have distinct behavior and they might not be agreeing with each other independently of the recommender used. Another important result is the similarity analysis. These two tables show the pairwise Pearson rank correlation of the unexpectedness scores. It can be seen that only metrics 1 and 2 are highly correlated with each other. However, the remaining metrics uh, are completely uncorrelated. The results are both similar for the matrix factorization and user KNN recommenders. Therefore, as a conclusion of the characterization performed on the unexpectedness scores, we can say that the existing metrics for evaluating unexpectedness do not agree with each other. There are many metrics on the literature, uh, as we can evaluate five metrics, but they are evaluating distinct principles. Nevertheless, in our last result, we also performed a combination analysis in our framework. Uh, we executed PCA, SVD, and kernel PCA as an attempt of combining the five uh, metrics into a unified one. In this case, we evaluate the proportion of variability of the first principal component of the matrix factorization. If it's sufficiently high enough, it can be used for reconstructing the matrix and linearly combine the five metrics into a single one. As we can see in our table, using SVD, PCA, and kernel PCA, we could achieve more than 90% of proportion of variability for user KNN recommender. For the matrix factorization recommender, though, using PCA and the kernel PCA, we could also achieve more than 90%. And in this case, uh, we were able to reconstruct the matrix and combine the matrix into a unified one. The only exception here is uh, using SVD for, uh, for the matrix factorization, and in this case, it could not be used for uh, combining the matrix. In this sense, since the proportion of variability can achieve high values, this strategy is useful for combining the unexpectedness metrics into a unified one. In conclusion, this work has studied about unexpectedness metrics in recommendation. We elaborated a framework and a tool for evaluating unexpectedness in recommendation. Researchers and professionals in recommender systems can use our system for evaluating their recommenders with regard to unexpectedness in recommendation. We hope it also stimulates other researchers to use the same evaluation on proposing metrics and for assessing unexpectedness in recommendation. As future work, we intend to apply this methodology of evaluation in other scenarios and datasets. Moreover, this work has not attempted to explore recommenders that uh, tries to predict unexpected items. Future work could explore recommendation of unexpected items. So this was our work, a framework for unexpectedness evaluation in recommendation. Thank you very much for watching this presentation.